A boy from a small town in Canada grows up to uh, play a key position for a major, very expensive sports franchise in America. He doesn't become, you know, a headliner or go to the Hall of Fame, but he makes a really good buck and he saves uh, most of it. He quit, acquits himself well, and in spite of the usual temptations, he doesn't succumb to drugs or cheating on his wife. He's got uh, high moral standards. That's the good news. The not so good news that only a few years later, here he is in rehab. He has no motivation whatsoever to do anything except drink vodka all day and in total secret. Even his loving and devoted wife has never seen him put a glass or a bottle to his lips. He supported her in, his, in her studies, and now that she's a working professional, she supports him, along with a considerable bank account he accumulated during his glory days in uniform. His parents were working professionals themselves, and his father wasn't often that much in the room, and his mother was a bit of a kvetch and a nag. Still, he and his siblings had a relatively stable and happy childhood. Bill put a lot of energy into his athletics, and he was encouraged to do so by pretty much everyone along the way. Uh, and so he did a bare minimum to get by and get back to running and jumping and getting sweaty and winning games. So, what is Bill's problem, after all? What is his big life complaint? I don't know that he has one, but I do know this. His life is exactly like the life of someone uh, coming out of a federal prison institution. The world of professional or elite athletes is very much like the world of someone uh, who spent a lot of time in a federal prison. Bong, bong, get up. Bong, bong, shit, shower and shave. Bong, bong, chow down. When I told Bill this, he picked up the song right away. Bong, bong, stretch. Bong, bong, 40 minutes at the gym. Bong, bong, run sprints, run uphill, practice the basics, and so on. Every minute of the day is accounted for, uh, as was his laundry. His bed, his travel, his, his, his uh, what seat he gets on the airplane, which uh, hotel room, who he shares the hotel room with. And here's the crux of the matter. These demands were not made by him, but by some larger authority outside of himself called the franchise. In other words, like incarcerated felons, he's lived most of his life in an extremely structured world. He was never required, as most of us are, to build our own internal structure. In short, he's 35, and he doesn't have a clue about how to get through a day without being told by the organization or by mommy. After big-time sports, he has no goals, no purpose, no reason to get out of bed other than to open another 26 of vodka. Now, it's a question of identity. Is he prepared to jettison the mantle of Bill, big shot sports star, and move on to Bill, citizen, guy with a new career. Can he count his extraordinary blessings? I mean, who gets to be in the majors and make bags of money before they're 30? Can he just say thank you and move on to Bill Part 2? We shall see. Pickle. The triumphs of one part of life are beautiful, but nothing, alas. Move on. Next.